out Haymarket Pub and Brewery after several of you commented on our Facebook that we had to try their sausage and beer. They've won award after award, and lucky for me, I get to try all the brews because I've got our producer Emma as my DD and our deep compass. So you're named after the Haymarket Affair. Tell me a little bit about what that was. The Haymarket Affair was a set of demonstrations that led to a ride in 1886. It set in place the, the eight-hour workday, and it became a worldwide movement beyond that. And of all of the things that have happened in Chicago's history, why the Haymarket Affair? We just had kind of ended up on this corner where the protest marches walked right by our front door. We wanted the working man's pub. They have something for everybody. They have a lot of pilsners, they've got a lot of saisons. This is the saison that I'm drinking right now. It's absolutely delicious. Love the beer selection. Obviously, it's always changing. I know the brewers personally. I know they put a lot of heart into it. and um, I like the unique names and the unique beers that they make. You always know you can get great beer when you come here. Always know you get great food. Why not come? What are we making today? We're gonna be making our riot sandwich after the Haymarket Riot, which is our take on the on the classic Chicago combo, except instead of there being an Italian sausage with beef on the top, we're doing our Italian sausage patty with our house full pork on the top. It's kind of a, a pork on pork explosion, and that seems like a, a fair way to give it cred. That might be my favorite description anyone has ever <laughs> used on the show. The riot sandwich is an amazing sandwich that has an exorbitant amount of meat in it. <laughs> the riot sandwich is, is de pretty decadent. They make it from scratch. Um, the chef here is very inventive, very creative. It's not overly filling though. It's a good portion, flavorful, wonderful, but won't leave you on the curb. This place that we're currently in has a pretty incredible name. Sausage Town. I'm thrilled to be in Sausage Town. Let's make some sausage. Would you like some sausage? This is our roasted barley fennel sausage. All right, so we have uh, our back fat. Pork shoulder is next. You okay. want to grab one of those ingredients and we'll sure. just start pouring that in. Going to help so us this is some garlic. The fennel seed. And our barley comes in. So yeah, we use a roasted uh, barley and a chocolate barley. Um, these are the type of barleys that you would use for a stout or a porter. It's awesome. it's teamwork making a dream work at Sausage Town right now. Some pour. chili powder. Always need a little bit more salt and garlic, of course. Yes. The toasted fennel seed. Uh, mix that up, and I think you're worthy of Sausage Town. This is, yes. this is perfect. I had no idea today was going to be such an important day in my life. So what we do from here is uh, we'll portion it into patties. Toss it right here on the hot spot. Yeah, right on the hot spot on the right there. Butter the buns and then we can throw that on the left side. Time for cheese. Bun comes off. Yeah, let's get that off here now. Nice and toasted. Feeling, I'm feeling good, good, feeling great? Yeah, okay. you know, I'm going to bring the plate to you. Rest that on the bottom Rest bun. Rest her right there. Time to add our pork on pork. Yeah, so this is our uh, pork shoulder. Same pork shoulder that we used to make the sausage. We smoke this over apple wood chips for about 12 hours. Right and here. barbecue? Yeah, we make our own uh, apple bacon and beer barbecue sauce. Uh, this is called our Serrano pepper and pear jar. Right in the middle. Right on in there. Ready to go. Pork on pork explosion. It is. Try it. And I've got my Defender beer that everyone's been talking about. What do you have over there? I have the Alster IPA. I call the Defender American Stout our, our, our chocolate-covered uh, mandarin orange. There is a really on. nice fruit undertone, but I like that it's so, you get that chocolate punch out front. Look at this gloriousness. Oh, it's so good. That jardinera has such a great flavor. And then that cheese really, in my opinion, kind of cuts the palate down mm -hmm. a bit. So it really rounds out the fact that it is spicy, it is rich, it is decadent, but then boom, then you drink that Defender style and it's... Well, and you get that that nice smokiness of the pork in addition to that kick from the jardinera. This is a heck of a sandwich. Why do you think that Haymarket is Chicago's best? We're here every day, we put ourselves in the line, we stand by our product. We're very proud of what we do and we never get tired of, uh, of talking about it and sharing it with everyone. Well, it shows, and thank you for sharing it with us. I have a few more yet to try that John recommended, so when we're done with our sandwiches and I finish the Defender, we'll move on. All right, because sounds great. I have a DD in our compass today. Can you drop me off on the way? I sure can. All right. All right.